remember correctly. Um, so board, the board members, the board member contacted me before that and said, would you be able to do this? Yes, and said, okay, well, we'll get you appointed. It's usually a rubber stamp thing. And I think they, I think they felt badly. And then the next time the board, but it was within a month or two. It was a month because my first meeting, one of the board members resigned the very next month. We were in the okay, and they, and they, and they, yep. they must have asked the county commissioners or something like that. So, no, as much as I, as much as Chris and I, we both like to say we really, really can always agree with the <laughs> library board. These were sort of these were sort of things that I was asked to do, and he asked what we kind of stumbled into, and I guess. Will bring value, or at least, at least still at the front of the line. <laughs> <laughs> You've been here for almost twenty years. Well, I don't. Yeah, I'm trying to think how many years it would be. Because I been, keep talking to all the teachers too. I think it's no, it's is it, is it sixteen years? Is it three, four it's years? Twenty. It, I thought it was twenty. Is it? I think it's four. I think it's four consecutive four years. Seems like twelve. So this is that's why this is my because you took over a half term. Chris, that's that's why you're months. okay. That yes, that, yep. yes, because I'm on the after. Yeah. Okay. But anyway, sorry, that was fun. Sorry. All right. I'm glad to hear we have some. Now that we're uh, past six o'clock, I'm going to call this meeting to order. That's uh, why I was here as as the attempt for the day. First, we need to uh, suspend the, the regular meeting open for public hearing for our budget.
1792 or whatever that was. Yeah. There, there weren't any other changes or anything. Oh. Nobody has any questions. I'll move to close the budget. So the with me being new yep. on this, the um, the maximum amount was eight point zero eight cents. Is that, is that what I saw? Um, the tax rate meeting. Um, the in, increase, I guess. Uh, oh, oh, the tax, tax, tax rate levy. Uh, that's our that's uh, current levy. That's that's assigned to us by the state. That's what we get for. Okay. Yeah. All right. And what is the maximum amount? Uh, so for uh, next year, I'm proposing a total budget of two million dollars. <coughs> Two million twenty thousand five hundred fourteen, okay. which is which is the uh, four percent uh, max levy growth portion that we're allowed to increase our budget. Do you know how that four percent is calculated? Is that dynamically? Your I can give you that. Uh, I'm just curious. It, 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 it's, it's based on the calculation. That's also statute. Uh, I think for a few years they we were allowed. They were allowed to. Up to five percent, that's back down to four percent would be the greatest. Next year, they can come in and say, No, it's only be three because it's based on a lot of as to with what the anticipated um, tax, the taxes and what we pay. We've gotten yeah. less before, yeah. Well, so. Yeah, four percent seems okay given that inflation yeah, sure. has. We have to have the full so budget because in years past, they've given us less, so that we have to cut. like this that we were convinced 
it's that they, and, and also that if somebody really needs to do some research on biology stuff that we can bypass the filters I understand as well. So they address those. Bypass the filters with approval. With approval, a staff member can come over and bypass the filters if somebody is legitimately doing looking up sex looking up sex organs, organs yeah. reproductions, hermaphrodites, okay. you know. That, that kind of stuff. Okay. So, and, and I can tell you, I don't know if that last I think was ever asked for us to get over like that. Our, the, every school, the, the school has it as well. Yeah. We have an E-rate and apply it. So. With that, I will go ahead and move uh, to approve our, partici our continuing participation in the E-rate program to adopt the resolutions that are presented by the uh, director. Motion to have a second. Second by Chris. That's right. All in favor of approving continued participation in the E-rate program? Aye. Aye. Any names? We will have to sign it. Right. Uh, on to the next. So the next topic is our open hours. And the uh, I am again I by saying the right side. Right. Recommending and, and asking that we uh, adjust our open hours to close Sundays. Uh, and then I would suggest adding two hours to Monday to uh, be able to provide a value added hours. Uh, our usage and uh, usage and motivations and stuff like that have changed, and it's just it's we're, we're here, and there there are people in the building. I'm not going to say that, but it's not. Sunday um, overtime or an extra hourly, just regular hour rate on Sunday. Yeah. Okay. But it cuts out of their available hours. Correct. So, right. so, four, so we're offering four hours on Sunday. That's four and a half hours that they uh, take from later on in the week. So that's four and a half hours that they'll have in the day for a program. And there's 30 people here for that. And because there is traffic, they aren't able to use it for a prep time or Interruption and call and stuff like that, but it's not value that. When you say there's not a large demand, yes. do you have like number wise from what the regular rest of the week is? I know we had that before. So I did not look at it compared to the rest of the week. Uh, based on our accounts, we average around 20 people in the building for the day, but from observations from staff. A lot of those people are, are the people that come in for, for the use of the meeting room. And then as they're walking out, they are they roam the, the, the stacks or something like that. Or, oh, I have, I'm here for the party. I haven't been to this library before. So they walk around to the account as a, a visit. So the, the big draw is still the, the use of the rooms, not our services upstairs. And discussions with the staff, that's they're in favor of, it's less of a stress on staff members to try to cover on a Sunday? Yeah. Yeah. <coughs> or my weekends, that's why I'm asking yeah. things. Okay. okay. And I did get a bit of a discussion with Mike for almost what's here. I then kind of wanted to hold out on this in large part because of the availability of the community roads down here. Um, with them only being open when the library is open, and there are good reasons for that. Mm -hmm. uh, we did try it the other way, and yes, the, the, the gates that find out, yeah, it was, it was pandemonium. <laughs> um, so with that though, I, I, well, I had wanted to at least float, and we may be too close to make a call on that. I don't know if I can call us more, because so we're basically starting about we're going to have a Sunday that occurs after Labor Day before our next meeting. Correct. So, I, best practice would be to make a decision today, tonight. Yeah. My query to Mike is, 
I think you said staff would probably hate it less than the eighth grade or something. <laughs> well, yeah, less, you're, those are my words, but right, I, I think yeah. I'm accurately paraphrasing. Yeah. Is I had floated the concept of it, whether or not there was some way to secure this area and have maybe one staff member who is here to unlock to make sure nobody goes upstairs and then lock back up again on Sunday. Just, so just one person. Yeah, just for community review. Just, just for just, community review. Just, I mean, that's why we built the building. It, it is it, a it, building and, I, so. and I feel that's a huge part of value that, and that, that, that the library has. Is it does have a nice facility. He seemed to think that the staff would hate that less because there would be less notation. There might even be some days when nobody is involved in the middle of the winter, and you might not have to worry about it. Yeah, you wouldn't have to staff it if nobody will. Right, right. Yeah. right. It could be an as needed thing, but you can still have a graduation party, you can still have a birthday party, you can still, you know, you can still have available to the an anniversary party, you can still have it available on Sundays. And since we don't have it available that much other times, and then we're going to have to keep for those slots, because some of these people will try to use it anyway. I don't know if that's workable or if there's a good way to secure things. They need access to that. Yeah. So just for clarity, you're suggesting that the library itself is closed. No right. Address, no, yes. right. No I'm suggesting yeah. that nothing, nothing upstairs. Nothing upstairs. They, they come in, in and out. And then basically they would use, they never they would be told yeah. you use the It's Sunday. It would be a new a new hybrid sort of a. And how do we secure the benefit? That's, that's, that's that that I'm asking. Yeah, because I would, my concern on that would be, now you're asking our staff members to be secure, almost security. They are now. That's, yeah, that's, that's true. Except they've also got to mind the front door. Mind the front door, yeah. And I'm not dirty sure. feeling in one way or the other. Um, I think, I mean, just as we said, just before the meeting. I'm, I'm sorry, sorry, I just, yeah, yeah, I just yeah. 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 But I think it would be doable. <coughs> would do well. I think that it would uh, meet the needs of the community as well as what we gave to some discussions on staff. Do you think there's a practical way? Again, I, I say secure, but obviously they have to be out in that area. Yeah. And a great number of those doors that are that are accessible from this area don't lock anyway. They, I, I assume that a lot of those lock. Yeah, all again, the heavy door yeah. locks. We're not talking yeah. about all of a sudden inviting a different crowd than we would have on a Sunday anyway. It's going to be the same use. Yeah. That we would have when we would have what, just two people upstairs yeah. anyway, but we would have one. They could presumably be down here, yeah. and and I even mentioned to Mike. I said they can prep time. They could be on their cell phone. They're basically they are basically just babies at that point. The, the, the building for the community. Yeah. They're being a caretaker for the building. Yeah, making sure nobody brings in booze. Man, I mean just. Yeah. That, that, that's my suggestion. If you think there's any way to do it, to give that a shot. So would the motion then be to close library for normal access on Sundays with the hope and directive to establish a way to be open for events such yes. such as requested? Yes. Yeah. And I guess I guess I could I guess I could go ahead and put that in the form of a motion. Right. I'm just. Just for clarity, no, I'm, I'm just well, trying to wait, I want to keep talking about it, because I want to yeah. I, I yeah. just, this is just, well, yeah, this is just well, the one question I would have, I would, is that we could still make a motion. I this is spitballing, it's not a well thought out plan. So. But um, to, to talk staff through that piece, because if, they, if, if staff are, if we're having trouble staff and are getting that rotation, I completely understand that, right? Yeah. It's, it's Sunday, it's that day. I really understand also that we would want to stay open for community members if it were available to you for the rooms for the rooms yeah. right so if staff members are like okay we that's a that's a compromise we can do that uh, that's something we could do only if it's booked i would like but i would if you want to make a motion then, then discussed as a motion or yeah i mean we can just make that actual motion if, if somebody yeah I, well i like i like that which is basically i'll go ahead and move that effective uh, as of uh, i guess Sunday after Memorial Day or Labor Day because we close that Sunday anyway. Uh, that the eighth. The eighth that we would 
change the library's opening hours for purposes of accessing most of the facilities on Sunday and close it on Sunday. Um, but to uh, suggest that the staff find a way, if it's practical, to secure and staff just, just one person here, if and when the community groups are pulled their hand open and all of them are brought to be able to, to open up and things like that. So I'll put that in the form because that's a complicated motion. What is it a complicated motion? I'll admit. I'm going to amend your motion, your motion to add the two hours that you requested on Monday evening to even out the Monday. I, even I love that. Yes, let's go ahead and, and add the two hours on Monday and put it the following Monday um, as, as well. Do, um, we, do we need a second to discuss this? Then technically. Yeah. Second. I'll second it. All right, great. Okay, now my question is. You may not vote for it. You go ahead. But my question <clears> now <throat> comes in with motion that was on the table if we're open for both we've just added hours that's my concern do we get into overtime there at this point because if we're open sunday and add two hours on monday we just added hours we didn't really shift the well in terms of van hours we've only got one person here on sunday so true two. so but there's so two but then you're adding two additional hours for all staff on monday And I, if we're not getting into overtime, I don't know if that would be a big issue. It would only be the one person, unless, because that's, that's what we're talking about. Yeah, so so that one person would, would still have to adjust that person to hours for that week to keep them down below, because uh, they're not full time, they're at 28, so there's some, there's a couple hours that you leave in there before they get to overtime. Or full time, I should say, full time. Could I make a suggestion that we I mean, offer an incentive to do that Sunday? Let's make like a dollar an hour adjustment on that and Sunday. Actually, I have already suggested, although we can save money, I okay, okay. said something about perhaps time and a half. Yeah, okay, yeah, well, Sunday. okay. On Sunday. On that Sunday. <clears throat> on that Sunday. Sunday, if you get stuck on that Sunday. Or volunteer on Sunday, whatever that is. But yeah, yes. Okay. That's, I, 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 I'm sorry, I probably should have made that. Part of it, you and I, had yeah. I didn't even mention that. that we, and and we're, I don't know that we're going to have an overall cost savings, but I, I, I don't want to lose track of the fact that we're, we're here for the community yes, use the room. Yes, on, yes, we're not a money day adventure. Yeah. And it's yeah. got to stay open because not only can't use it. Right, right. Right. And the two hours on Monday brings us into line for the rest of the week as far as Except the Friday. Friday. Yeah, it would be Monday through Thursday would be 9 to 8, and Friday would be and Saturday. If, if you were asked, would time and a half, would that make you, I can move my schedule or I still can't make it, like, is that? Well, and I don't mean to, I, I don't mean to downplay the responsibility of being here, but you're going to have, it's, it's the same thing that they're doing now, except, I mean, it's, it's, it's no kind of, out except, except yeah. there's, there's no other, there's no other duties uh, that they that anybody would have to mind. And so I, I, again, I do. Oh, again, this may not be a solution for all time, but we check to see. But I would hope that it would be no more burdensome and, and, and quite a bit less burdensome than that regular time. I didn't even mention somebody bringing their phone. I mean, they are really here just to hand the keys, make sure nobody goes upstairs, and then lock them up after that. And I think that's probably a lot less than normal. I, I'm just trying to find a way to still keep the community rooms available on Sunday because even if we saw today people here, I assume they are pretty consistent with it based on what you said in traffic a lot of times that to just keep that open. I, and anybody who has a better idea, that's great. I really kind of came up with this on the fly and I've been <laughs> thinking about this and like I can I can understand people work for the weekends or at least one Sunday. Um, I like the fact that you described this would also make the rotation. Not only would it be an as needed thing in the winter, probably less, but also it would be what maybe every three months. Yeah, every 12 weeks. Um, if, if they were going to rotate, do um, for that summer on the staff. 
but yeah, I, I have no problem authorizing this part of that motion if we were you second, right? I did second. Okay, I have no problem authorizing this part of that to offer whoever's working that Sunday if the budget will allow. Often it's authorizing the director to decide what's appropriate. Okay. <laughs> so, so Monday we were open until six. Correct. Is that right? Yeah. And, right. That, and that was different than the yeah. yeah. than the rest of the week where we were open until eight. Until eight. Yeah. Okay. Can we have to declare this with the state our hours? So, one of the forms that yeah, and the uh, annual report, eight, eight, annual report because uh, the, there's minimums for hours open based on their class. So, we are okay. so we're class comfortably B. ahead of that margin still, we'll yeah. still, we'll still be able to move down. We're at class B, we're closer to the class A requirements. So. And when the question first came up, I, I went ahead and I looked at a lot of the other libraries that are evergreen, and it's and it's a mix. I was I was loved, and there's there's one or two others our size in Northeast India on Sunday. Most of them are smaller This is the LIC our size, yeah. It's small, yeah. Most of them are. Yeah, because we can afford it, I'd rather align with bigger libraries. I, I understand. Assuming we can afford it. Yes, sir. Are the, um, are the community rooms just a, a, a book in and no charge? Are they just available to the community or do they have to rent or so if, if it's a not-for-profit there's no charge but if it's a private uh rental party, party okay. it's there's a charge okay and, and, and so look at online right yeah. Yeah. Okay. i i use this for my son graduation party for graduation yeah. school yeah, that was one of the reasons that we, we redid the, the basement especially the stage area and everything else to be available and used as much as we could for the community. And even as a treasurer, I, I want to make it palpable, palpable for our staff, but we got to think it's a community our size, the building that we have, we should be open if we could be, if they asked us. September 8th, uh, we close the library to regular patrons on Sundays. Uh, however, we uh, remain open for purposes of using the community rooms downstairs. Uh, we authorize the director to make staffing arrangements to have at least one employee available for purposes of allowing access to and securing the library from the use of the community reviews and locking up afterwards and also authorize the, the motion. Also authorize the director to uh, compensate and offer a premium compensation to the employees serving in that capacity. Um, and that we extend our regular patron hours uh, beginning Monday, September 9th to 8th. On Monday. I think I agree. I think that covers it. Any factory you might need. Is that going to be workable? I think it's definitely worth trying. Okay. Uh, maybe. Yeah. I think we'll definitely be able to read them. Second the revised plan. Okay, we have a motion and a second. Any further discussion before we vote? The only discussion I would like to have is do we want to set that percentage so that Mike doesn't have to? Or would you want to? Oh, you mean in terms of the compensation? I'm not comfortable doing it without seeing the effect on 
True. I just don't want to go over the hundred point seven thousand. So we're doing that. All those days. That's what I. That's where I. It okay. can't be an in, that increase. Whatever you're saying. Yeah. So I guess mathematically, if we're going from two to one, it'd be paying double day at that point to get to the same cost rate. Depends on who takes it. Fair. Uh, 
that would be that might be. Uh, I would propose that we do three hundred dollars for full time and one hundred and fifty dollars for part time. The benefit of this is uh, we would actually save money based on this year's numbers. We would be saving on what we are making now uh, this year, and it would be a consistent cost and, and, and predictable. I tried this with my staff a couple of years ago and almost this one out of the way. <clears throat> so I Yeah, that's my chief concern. I don't have any problem with it, it's just you said the staff was it was well received among staff, but I'm like I, Yeah, that's well, I, I, obviously a lot of people haven't tried, especially fifty or sixty year old people haven't tried to buy health insurance for three hundred dollars. Um or even if you have to with our staff. What's that? Right. Even if you add the 124 that they're right, already right. paying. I mean, my, I, I, I may be one of the few people here that actually buys out of pocket as part of a group plan. I spent $1,100 for a $4,000 deductible. Yeah, so I, so I just. Yeah, it, it was well received at Noble County. Okay. So that, that's, that's where I'm uh, basing that, being well received from. Okay. Uh, and we floated the staff. I, I didn't let the full-time employees know that I didn't want to, to hear about this and, and be shocked, so I wanted them to know that it was going to be discussed. Uh, there were mixed views and concerns uh, just because it's is, is it open enrollment right now? It, well, we, if we were, it's coming up to open enrollment. Uh, open enrollment is September or October? I think it's October through December or yeah. 7th. And this yeah. would count as a but but it'd be a, so they could there would be a workplace change so they would be able to uh, I would propose that we continue until this policy ends in December or the end of December so we could continue coverage as we are now and then take over they would this type of chart in December. Um, I like saving the money. Yeah. But now as a, as a personal experience going through the marketplace on. I am the only uh, person uh, insured through the library. Uh, my, the rest of my family, the four other members of the family, uh, we went through the marketplace to get it, and for two fifty, I, I was able to cover the other four through the marketplace, which meets our needs. You mentioned a side benefit here, uh, which uh, I, I wish we knew how, how many would be covered by this, but a lot of workplaces won't cover your spouse and your family. They're insurable by another employer. Correct. So if we're not insuring them anymore, so then they're, they're able to, the other company gets to pick up that tag. Uh, I know there's at least a couple that would. Bad for them, but yeah, there are some that could take advantage of that. That's how I am I'm insured yeah. by my employer. Yeah. When do you think you'll have your meeting with the insurance agent? I have a preliminary meeting with them tomorrow, but he said that he would not have. Solid numbers for me until September or even closer to the open moment date of October. So 
Yeah. Okay, so if the proposal is not to have this take place until January 1st. Then I'm just September. So, because our, our, are your policy? Yeah, our policy is that uh, it's when the public starts in December. That's when the policy starts. So. Maybe that's the last thing you have. So, could you gauge the recept reception of the staff? I mean, the, the, obviously, the part time staff are looking at an extra $125, but the full time, full time, would be the ones who I think might be that might be where your rebellion would come. Yeah. Would, uh, would any other board members be available to come in and sit with or be available for staff to discuss this or talk about it at all? Because it's yeah, much, yeah. yeah, I mean, if we can have a couple of board members come in and, and just listen to those things, because that's a big change. Yeah. It's a big change. It's something that you don't have to worry about. So now you've got to go out and find it, figure yeah. it out yourself, and those things. And that can't be daunting at times. And I don't it know. And, and there are resources out there. I mean, I know Parkview offers uh, people uh, assistance for finding policies and stuff like that. So when, even then, it's not throwing out and doing all the research. I mean, there are resources here in the community that would help with that. But yes, there's no yeah. well, if we could even bring a, a Parkview partner in to even discuss that as well with board members to go through that. That I would be a hundred percent in favor of that. Yeah what I don't make what I don't want to do is yank the rug out from people who are expecting a benefit. Yeah. Yeah. Can we table this yeah. next month and maybe set some sort of something up something up like yeah. that to before next, next yeah. meeting? Yeah. Yeah. Um, that's short notice but do you think we could I'm happy to meet them. I I can tell you PHP is, is what my office is they went up to the street. Yeah, flat. They yeah. previously gone way up the ACA gas. They, they sort of flattened out after that. And yeah, they went up. It, so it's it's going to be. Yeah, we currently have PhD. Yeah, yeah it's I, it's going to go up. I, it's going to go up. My sure. guess is our agent has a guess, but he doesn't want to tell us. <coughs> that would be my guess. Yeah. yeah, because we were offered a five thousand dollars. Push and the board open and they 
the NBA to the library proper or by the stairs and stuff. So we switched them. Helping, helping parents go out. Yeah, so we switched them so the app is now pulled to get out. Fire marshal have an issue with that particular one? We'll find out when the fire marshal comes. <laughs> <laughs> so there's an emergency exit out of here. Yeah, there is. And through the team as yeah. well. Yeah. 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 It should be fine. Uh, I will say, just for the record, it looks very nice. The, the layout changes I talked to you yesterday. Yes. And, uh, it definitely helped freshen up as well. The children's yeah. version. We are continuing to move uh, all the team books are now out of the, that current team area. Uh, so we're getting used to that flow of where materials are, and then that allows us to now move the shelving out of that space to make room for new programming and team furniture and setting. Uh, we had the end of summer uh, party that went very well. It was well received by the our community, uh, lots of fun was had, uh, pictures of uh, arts and crafts that were done that day. We had uh, donkey drives and uh, food trucks and face paintings, so it was a lot of fun. Uh, we had a total of uh, 6,750 entries for the summer.
oral history uh, views, total minutes view. Then I, then I was like, oh, they have board meetings. I guess I had noticed that entry before. But so I'm talking about total minutes view. Now, is that total, total, is that total minutes? That means everybody that got on July that watched board meetings, all of their time added up together was 29 minutes? Or is that like an average of a person? That, because that's not a board meeting. So I would watch it in four times speed. So. Yeah, I was just gonna say I watched I watched last month today and I was at two and a half X. So Okay, okay. I don't know how that gets <coughs> I, I can ask that to check on that. I, I it was an old man question because these guys have just Yeah, the data was streamed just the minutes it's long. Uh, okay. Like okay, so if you guys speed it up a little bit or okay. condense it down, it's only the five minutes that we get Okay. Okay. Uh, I that then that Number makes sense. Um, other thing I was going to ask about, and this was probably already discussed, and probably there's no difference in large HVAC bill. Yes, that was the, we had a leak uh, in some plumbing, so they had to repair that and flush the system. And it was actually a few months back, and somehow the bill was. Was lost. Okay, that seems yeah. familiar, but I was like, yeah. do we have something new or no, something? No, okay. the, the build slipped through the cracks, and so okay. we, we found it and corrected it right away. So it's, it's old. I will note that that puts us over on our yearly budget for HVAC repairs, which isn't all that shocking, but uh, something to keep in mind as we're yeah. Yeah. moving forward. Given that one of our concerns that we wanted to mitigate with the bond issue. Yeah. I mean, we have the asset. 